Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for August, okay? So this is for August. Could happen any time in August, may or may not, okay? Take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? So, and keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Just had three cards fall out. We are going to take them. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mm. Flute, disappointment, and in a friend or lover. So there's going to be some disappointment. Tiger. Doing something risky, taking a chance. So you need to take a chance. Older man, dealings or relationship with an older man. Okay, you may end up disappointed with an older man. I don't know if you're dealing with an older man that is taking a risk. Okay, this older man may be taking a risk. Somehow it's affecting your life and it's probably going to cause you some sort of disappointment. So there's no demand that's going to cause you some sort of disappointment. That's the way I see it. What do we have for Libra? They have serious regrets for hurting you. Somebody has serious regrets for hurting you. hurricane season ahead so this is warning warning this is a warning sign okay get ready for some stormy weather because it's ahead there is stormy weather ahead concerning this man oh we had four cards or yeah no I think it's it's three it's three they really miss you a lot. Somebody really misses you a lot. Planning a move. Somebody is planning on moving, whether it's you or this older man or whoever it is. We have a move that is in the process of happening. Ah, there's going to be an increase in money as well. So there is going to, you're going to be seeing an increase in money. That's good. That's good. So, let's get one of these. What do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra? Give back. Today is a day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It is about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch either people's, other people's spirits, as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today. Somebody, somebody needs you. Somebody needs you to uh, reach out to them. And it's interesting because when I saw that older man, it looked like a father figure to me. So I'm not sure if it is. Um, doesn't have to be, but this is this is somebody that has a lot of life experience. Is definitely older. Okay, this is an older person. It's when and when, when when we get older man, um, older man, I would say is somebody that is you know, to me over over 45, maybe even 50, over the hill 40, right? This that, that's an older man. Okay, an older man is typically if you, they consider it over the hill, somebody over the age of 40. Okay. Um, something that some of you this may have to do with a father figure a father's love this may have to do with a father that has hurt you I'm not sure a father's love a father's love for his son or daughter never dies the strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable 
and that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason. Whether your father is still here or has passed, a father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. So this, I feel, I feel like this, for some of you, this may have to do with a father figure. Um, maybe this father abandoned you or didn't take care of you or made a poor decision about you or something like that. If it's not your father, um, it could just be an older man. But anyhow, get prepared for a hurricane season ahead. There's a storm coming, okay? I would consider that a tower moment. I would say that there is something that is about to be cleared out. Um, it's out of your control. Uh, you need to get prepared right now, okay? You need to get prepared. You are going to be seeing an increase um, of money as well, so that's a good thing. What do we have for Libra? <clears throat> New love. Someone has stirred your romantic feelings. Now, I believe that Virgo got this as well. And Virgo also got, I believe Virgo also got father's love. A father, so you, some of you may be dealing with a Virgo or somebody that has a lot of Virgo in their chart. Either way, you have a new love here. You have a new love. Someone has stirred your romantic feelings. Uh, I gotta show you what's on the bottom. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So for some of you, you need to release your ex. You need to release somebody that is still in your energy. Maybe there's somebody that's wanting your attention, give back, you know, and you're being called to give them, to give them the attention that they're seeking. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Do it. Take a chance. Take a chance on this new opportunity. Maybe it's time for you to get out of a situation before, you know, there's some sort of major destruction. You think about tower. This is a warning sign. When you, you, have, you have the opportunity to get out of a situation right now, before it, maybe before it turns into a disaster. I feel like you, you, you have a chance. This is a chance. It's a chance for you to break free while it's still safe. You know what I mean? Anyhow, I feel like you have a new love here. A new person stirred your romantic feelings. You should be taking a risk with this person, perhaps. Page of Pentacles reverse. That's not interested, not committed, not putting in much effort to a new endeavor, not really communicating. Eight of Wands reverse. That is blocked communication. Um, no forward movement. There could be some jealousy here. Some of you may be dealing with somebody that um, really isn't interested in, in moving forward. Page of Pentacles reversed, next to the Eight of Wands reversed. This person doesn't really communicate. They're not interested. They're not committed. They're, they are lazy. This is a dead end. It is a dead end. There could be, somebody may be becoming blocked, okay? There could be a stop in communication with the Page of Pentacles reversed and the Eight of Wands reversed. Something, somebody may be uh, just stopping. They're just not, they're just, this is a complete stop communication coming to a stop ace of wands reverse something going south no excitement no desire no drive um, no passion knight of swords reverse I feel like there is somebody around you that is very reckless this is out of control this is angry knight of swords reverse that is that is an out of control energy untrustworthy individual you have somebody around you that is untrustworthy you know I feel like there's there's something I don't know if, if I'm not trying to scare anybody but I'm not I'm, hopefully there's not going to be an accident Knight of Swords Reverse is moving extremely fast it is extremely 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 fast Next to that, Eight of Wands, reversed. A need to stop. 
need to smarten up. Somebody needs to smarten up as well with the Knight of Swords reversed. They're not being logical. Seven of Pentacles. This is about investment. It's about, uh, is it worth it? Is it worth investing in something where there's no growth? This is right next to the Ace of Wands reverse. No growth. There could be an extremely sudden departure here. I'm not sure, sure if somebody is suddenly departing or if that is what happened. Seven of Pentacles to me is a card of relocation. It's time to uh, go someplace else where the where the grass is greener, you know, where there's fertile ground. Where you're at right now, there's no growth, there's no fertility with that Ace of Wands reverse. There's no there's no drive, there's no desire, there's no excitement. And I feel like you have an opportunity to plant your seed someplace else. But you need to take a risk. Do not let fear get in the way. Maybe, maybe you know, you're extremely scared with the, with the Knight of Swords reversed, held back by fear. Maybe, maybe you're not really communicating with somebody. You're not really interested because you're thinking about whether you should keep investing in somebody that, something that's dead, we have dead end basically twice, or do you want to invest in something that is more fertile? That's a decision you have to make. You're definitely going to be thinking about, you know, what your options are. And you need to not let fear get in the way. And you need to stop wasting your time. You know, maybe you're dealing with a player. Or you've dealt with a player in the past. It feels like there's somebody here that gives you the silent treatment as well. And when this person gives you the silent treatment, you may think, why am I even doing this? Why am I even doing this? You need to be logical, okay? You need to be logical. You need to invest in something where the grass is, or the, the ground is fertile. Seven of Cups, reverse. Now that is seeing things clearly, coming out of confusion, making a choice. It's your choice. You know, Seven of Cups is about choices. It's about the choices that you make. And it, Seven of Cups is also about consequences. This one happens to be in reverse. This is coming out of confusion, seeing very clearly after being confused about, you know, a situation that isn't going anywhere. I think that you've been confused. or You know, Seven of Cups can, can be fantasy. I'm just being honest with you. I feel like you are... Uh, going to be getting some sort of clarity. You could also be dealing with somebody that is deciding to leave. They're deciding to leave very suddenly. There's some sort of unfairness here. There, there could be an argument with no resolution in sight. This is not fair. This is... Um, things maybe not going in your favor you know this is this is not what you hoped for it's not what you this it, it's like there's an imbalance here this is this is a lack of integrity a dishonest somebody may not be being honest with themselves there's a need to accept the truth accept the facts uh, there could definitely be an argument with no resolution in sight and you need to cut your losses with the Seven of Pentacles, you need to cut your losses. Um, I do feel like there's some sort of uh, something not going in your favor, like the decision not going in your favor. And I am sorry to say that. Um, I think that you're dealing with somebody that in the past that isn't really committed they're they're not really um, interested in starting over they're not really interested in in uh, making something grow okay they're not putting in any effort to make something grow and I feel like you need to be logical you need to see it for what it is you need to make another choice you need to make another you need to make another choice you have another choice here. <laughs>
you do. It's time to invest in the future, right? It's time to invest in new ground, in new territory, right? It is. But you have to be logical. You have to be very logical. Some of you, this may have to do with relocation. Maybe it's time to relocate. Seven of Pentacles. That is definitely, to me, a card of relocation. Sometimes you need a fresh start. You do. Sometimes you need to, you need to go someplace else so that you can completely start over. Maybe this is the risk. Maybe you have to do something risky so that you can have the excitement and the growth and the passion and the love and the security that you desire. I feel like you're desiring something solid. You're desiring something real. You're desiring something where there's uh, back and forth, where there's intimacy, but you're not really investing in it because this person that hurt you is still... disappointing you okay you need to you need to do your best to let go of that disappointment and move on anyhow i do feel like there is somebody around you that is looking for your attention give it to them you may be untrustworthy you don't trust you don't trust you, you may be like why would i want to invest in somebody that doesn't really want commitment just because the last one didn't want commitment doesn't mean the next one doesn't Ace of Swords reverse. That's that's no truth. Lack of clarity. Unclear. Uh, loss of power. No communication. Stop communicating. Uh, don't communicate with the one that hurt you. The one that ran over you. Or the one that... There's going to be an end in communication anyway. Communication is going to come to a stop or a standstill. I do see a... a, a, a stop in communication somebody is going to choose they're going whether it's you or the person that we're talking about whether i'm talking about you or whoever this other there's going the communication's coming to a stop I feel as though you are going to be given an opportunity. This is the abundance, like the revenue going up, the money going up. You're going to be given an opportunity. You have an opportunity. You have a golden opportunity for permanent uh, abundance, for something that is solid, stable, real. Okay? I do believe that you are going to be uh, given an opportunity that you should take. Okay, you should take this opportunity. This is something solid. It is something real, something long term. This is a new investment. Invest in the opportunity that is being presented to you. Invest in it. This is an opportunity of a lifetime, right? It's a golden opportunity. You're going to be given an opportunity to do something risky. Okay, definitely. This is a huge opportunity. Take it. Take the opportunity. Page of Cups reversed. Page of Cups reversed is, is sad. It is sad. It's tears. It's unrequited love. It's emotional. Um, I'm, one, and, and I'm wondering if somebody, I don't know if somebody is leaving your life, just saying. This could be, somebody could be leaving your life unexpectedly. When I get the Knight of Swords reversed, it's unexpected. Uh, there could be some tears that are shed. There could be a sudden departure here. Somebody is relocating, and it's a surprise. When I see every, whenever I see the Knight of Swords in reverse, even upright, sometimes it's a shock. And there is hurricane ahead, which is a tower moment. So I do believe that there is a tower moment that is coming in regards to this old, older man. I feel like it's going. This is heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. It's, it's like a heartbreaking departure. I feel like this is there's there, it's and maybe there's just no other choice. Maybe this person's leaving. Maybe you're leaving. I don't know. That's there's no other choice with the seven of cups reverse. It's time to it's and the ace of swords is about severing ties. So I do believe there's some ties that are going to be severed. Somebody is going to be planting their seeds someplace else. They're going to be uh, starting over someplace else. Um, new ground. It feels like it's new ground. Now we have justice on the bottom again in reverse, and I just shuffled. 
So justice in reverse, we already talked about, it's, it's uh, something not going in your favor. Uh, outcome that's not going in your favor. There could also be some news of legalities here. This could also be the end of a contract. Okay, this could be the end of a contract. This is also a card of consequences. There's some sort of consequences for dishonesty. And I'm not saying that you are dishonest. I don't think there is. I think you're dealing with somebody that is dishonest. Okay, I do. I feel like there's somebody in your this reading that is very dishonest. Uh, this person is untrustworthy. You can't trust this person. This person is... I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that lacks common sense. You could also There could also be somebody here that is speeding. And I, I think I mentioned accident... Um, they're speeding. They're speeding away. It feels like they're speeding away. They're speeding. A, I don't know what that means, but there could things are. Something is going to happen very, very, very fast. Um, I also feel as though you've been procrastinating. <clears throat> you've been procrastinating with some sort of movement, right? Staying put. Page of Pentacles next to the age of Eight of Wands, both reverse, staying put, you know, thinking about what should I do, what should I do, you keep procrastinating, procrastinating. I feel like you need to be honest with yourself, okay, you need to be honest with the facts, you need to come out of illusion, you know, maybe you've been in some illusionary state of mind where you've been in denial about the truth, you know. And I feel like you're going to receive some, I feel like disheartening information that forces you to, uh, see the truth okay um, I do feel like there's a move ahead whether it's for you or this person that you're dealing with um, maybe this person that you've been holding on to is is with a new love or something like that but I kind of feel like you have a new love here as well for some of you there's a new love interest here and I feel like you're really 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 thinking about it you know you're thinking about whether you want to invest in this and I would say yes I think that you should you should stop holding on to what hurts you stop playing games stop stop trying to stop making yourself bleed okay it's like you're causing your own pain there's no reason there's no reason to hold on to something that is causing you pain oh now it's upright Five of Wands, this is tension, this is competition, it is conflict. I feel like you are having a hard time letting go, and you are going to continue to have a hard time letting go as long as you play. You can choose to let go at any time. So I do believe that you're, gonna, you're struggling. There's a power struggle right there. You, this is a power struggle, struggling with letting go. So I do believe that there is somebody that it, maybe they've left or they're leaving. It feels like they're leaving suddenly it's heartbreaking with the page of cups reversed it's it is it's tears i feel like there, there could definitely be some tears that are shed over needing to release you know and accept the truth with the justice twice it's hard to accept it is it's unfair it's it is and i think that you have been treated unfairly this isn't fair it's not fair there's definitely, this is emotions, okay, emotions all over the place. I do believe you're going to be dealing with some tension. You're going to be dealing with some conflict and you're going to be struggling to accept some sort of truth. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. But I feel like you have a new opportunity here with somebody that, I mean, new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. You have an opportunity here to give back to this new love. But you can't keep playing games with somebody that is causing you pain. You have to choose. You have to choose what you're going to invest in. disappointment in a friend or lover yeah you're going to be disappointed in a friend or lover this person's going someplace uh unexpectedly and it's going to cause you some sort of 
emotions okay a lot of emotions it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna bring your emotions you know to the forefront it is it's really gonna affect your heart I keep cutting it to the Ten of Swords reverse. I've done it three times now. This is liberation. It is freedom from suffering. This is the end of suffering, okay? I feel like you're going to receive some sort of news or information. This is it. It's over. It's done. This is it. This is the breaking point. There's no going back now. Death reverse. I feel there's definitely some destruction here that is coming. There is some. I know that there is with that hurricane season. It's time for you to release and holding on is getting old. And maybe this person has been. And this can go vice versa. There could be somebody that's been holding on to you. Either way, somebody has been holding on to a dead end, and it's time to release. And then there's going to be a release. This is. This is. There is. We have somebody here that is about to take a risk. I, I think that this, pers this person's actions are not going to make you happy. Okay? I also feel like you have a new love here. And you should increase... Because right next to that increase card, that new love, you should increase your efforts with this new love. Give to them. You also have a golden opportunity. You're going to, some of you may be getting, I don't know if it's big money from somebody. There could be an increase of money. This could be. This could be a windfall, it could be a winning, it could be a new investment that you're starting, or it could be an inheritance, whatever it is, you're going to be receiving some sort of payout, or you're, this new love that you're meeting is has money, has a lot of money. Anyway, Libra, I feel like this is going to be a month of... Well, it's hurricane season, and when, when hurricanes come, it rains, right? It rains hard. And what is, to me, rain in, in the tarot is tears. So I do believe that there's, because things, you're going to be releasing something. You don't have a choice. The universe causes hurricanes. It's out of your control. So anyhow, good luck.